one of the founders of the pioneering hardcore rap group NWA, died of AIDS. The 31-year-old rapper had complained of breathing problems, but had no idea that he had AIDS before he was diagnosed three weeks ago. Just, just rationally thinking, some, some had to go on. All the great ones get killed. All of them. They just had a different weapon. They got this stuff to call. They get blood from somebody with AIDS. Yeah. And then they shoot you with it. Oh, so well, that, that seems happen, bad. That's yeah. a slow death. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> easy, easy thing. You know what I mean? Hey guys, I'm Evie, and many of you may recognize me from MTV as the daughter of the legendary Eric Wright, better known as Eazy E, founder of NWA and Ruthless Records. I'm here today to talk to you guys about a project that has been a life's mission of mine, as I've spent nearly half of it in search of answers behind my father's unusual and untimely death. I've been developing this documentary with my mother Tracy Jernigan and my sister Erica Wright for many years, and it's finally time the world knows the truth. Now I know you're all thinking, didn't Easy e die of AIDS? So what scandal was there, right? Well, if he did die of AIDS, why was there so much cover-up about the details surrounding his death? So let me break this down for you. My father was diagnosed with AIDS three weeks before he died. He was immediately isolated in the hospital away from all of his friends and family. Soon after, his attorney of only two months draws up my dad's living trust while on his deathbed. Two days later, a secret marriage took place. During the following week, my dad's entire estate was being looted while he was in a coma. On March 26, 1995, three weeks after being diagnosed with AIDS, he was dead. And one person walked away with everything. Do I think that something fishing happened to Easy? Absolutely. I don't believe for a second yeah. that, that someone that had as much money as we did and could afford, you know, whatever like Magic Johnson could and who doesn't even test positive anymore. You know, yeah. I, I don't believe that yeah. he could have possibly died that quickly from full-blown AIDS. I don't believe yeah. it. I don't believe that it was just as simple as my father had AIDS and died. There was definitely something very fishy about it. I really just feel my dad was murdered. And apparently, I'm not the only one who believes this because there are so many rumors so many stories and crazy conspiracy theories out there, but yet everyone has come to their own conclusion without knowing all of the facts that this documentary is going to reveal. Please, I want you, the fans, to follow me as I take you on an emotionally intense journey back to when and where it all went down. Give you the inside look and then you can be the judge. Many of my father's closest friends, who have never spoke before, have decided to break their silence and do exclusive interviews, but will only do so with me. And I know you all saw the NWA biopic, Straight Outta Compton, but remember, that was about the rise and fall of the group. It was not the Easy e story. This documentary will reveal all the details that the movie did not show. It's already so anticipated that we have fans commenting and asking about it on social media every single day. And if we can raise enough this month, we can get it out of the development stage and into production. With the help of our backers from Kickstarter, we hope to reach our goal of $250,000 to get it produced. And with a stretch goal of $2 million, ultimately complete a six to 10 part series and get it to distribution. If we have to go through traditional channels, it could probably take another year or so. But projects like this have to be done when the timing is right. And we all know that time is now. Boy, you should have known by now. Easy, does For those of you who can't donate as a backer, there are still some other ways you can help. By tweeting out our Kickstarter link, posting on Instagram or Facebook, or simply just by telling a friend. For those of you who can donate as a backer, we got some pretty gangster rewards. We have super cool merchandise, 
hats, shirts, bracelets, rare collector's items, or how about his original Ruthless Mafia jacket? Want to spend a day with my dad's super good bone thugs? MBD. You guys want to hang out with one of my dad's greatest friends, DJ Quick? Oh my goodness! It's real up in here, y'all. Y'all know what easy meant to everybody. Congratulations, rest in peace, my dude. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, 25 years. You invented this shit. Y'all know what it is. I'm gonna be fucking with little Aaron. Y'all know what it is. Come on now. And how Aaron. Type of things that happen when you roll with me. So all of you hip hop heads, historians, and all of the diehard Easy E fans, help us be the voice of Easy E. My father touched so many people and paved the way of so many artists of today in hip hop culture. Period. He deserves your help. And I don't think he'll rest in peace until his conspirators are exposed. So who's your favorite part of NWA? Uh, easy. Easy? Yeah. What's your favorite song? Uh, Straight Outta Compton. Uh, they uh, cool, they say what they, th what they think. Straight Outta Compton, Chris motherfucking named Ice Cube. From the gang called Niggas With Attitude. When I'm caught up, I got a sword off. Push the trigger, I bought it so hard off. You two will ever fuck with me. The police are gonna have to come and get me off your ass. That's how I'm gonna. For the punk motherfuckers that show on niggas wanna mumble. They wanna rumble. You know, I say I with the O and with the new. <laughs> you know?